Yo, it can't be this serious, guys. It cannot be this serious. Some of you people are acting like you're getting paid by some of these companies. Y'all be personally attached to some of this shit. I'll never understand it, honestly. Some of y'all need to go outside, man. <laughs> some some of you boys need to go outside. You doing stuff like this, you need to go outside, man. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. What was, what was probably something, Um, I think the most controversial thing is like game of the year. I saw a lot of people talking about this online. I don't know what people were saying because I don't like to read big blocks of text because I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care enough. So I would say this is probably, um, I want to give it to God of War, but I don't know. It depends on how many people are feeling salty about game of the year. I remember there's like a Sonic and like Genshin Impact issue or something that's going on right now. Like apparently Genshin Impact is offering people, which is so interesting because I ain't get this notification. I want it. Apparently Genshin Impact is allegedly giving away like free in-game Prima gems. So for voting for them but i i haven't seen anything like that like i haven't seen a notification for anything like that so um it's obviously a lie so i don't know who's who's coming up with that and like i guess sonic what is it frontiers or something like that the new sonic game like people are are upset about um we should probably google that actually hold on let me google this let me see what this looks like sonic uh genshin drama yeah let's see what this is about Sonic vs. Genshin drama. Uh, this is on Inverse. Uh, gaming's most heated fandom debate is peak cringe, according to Inverse.com. Thanks to the latest Game Awards drama, no one will know which game wins Player's Choice Award until the night of the ceremony. Sonic Frontiers and Genshin Impact were neck and neck for the past few days until round three of voting was off. Wait. It was off an un unhinged chain reaction from overly passionate fans okay that's a in interesting way to put it so let's go to player's choice um ooh, damn i want to see what the fucking let me see what the player's choice thing is thank you for visiting we're tallying the votes that's cool and everything but i want to see what bro i think we like to joke about how unhinged fandoms like kingdom hearts and shin megami tensei can be <laughs> But this takes things to a whole new level. Sonic and Genshin fans really said, hold my beer for this round. The game awards includes a player's choice category. All right, so let me click this. So that the public can vote for their favorite game of the year. It has three rounds, each of which gets smaller as the voting progresses. Round one started with a long list, including the likes of Elden Ring, God of War, and Horizon Forbidden West. However, despite these mega hits being in the lineup, it ended up as a heated rivalry between Genshin Impact and Sonic Frontiers players. Sonic Frontiers just came out. I don't understand how... What the hell? And then some random person tweeted, uh... He said, holy shit, MiHoYo must have promised free primogems at some point. We've lost the lead to Genshin in seven hours. We? Motherfucker act like... Yo, people who act like personally attached to video games and like stuff like that, like... Bro, you didn't work on the game. Like, what is wrong with some of you people? Let me see. So Sonic Frontiers has 25%, Elden Ring with 11, Xenoblade with 11, Stray with 10%. Oh, sh good luck. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok at 10%, Minecraft at 9, Cult of Lamb at 8, Sifu, Genshin Impact at 5. And then apparently in round 2, Genshin Impact shot up to 17%, Sonic Frontiers at 6. Yo, it can't be this serious, guys. It cannot be this serious. Some of you people are acting like you're getting paid by some of these companies. Y'all be personally attached to some of this shit. I'll never understand it, honestly. Some were confused about how this could even happen, considering the popularity of the other nominees. A few commenters pointed out that this could be because of a glitch in the Game Awards voting website that prevented fans from voting for their favorite games. Alright bro, not you, not y'all talking about the Game Awards gate, come on. That doesn't change the fact that so it's Sonic Frontiers vs Genshin Impact now. And maybe, <laughs> maybe it was all along. The fluctuating vote percentages sparked a debate between the two fandoms as accusations began to fly and various attempts were made to garner votes in unsavory ways. Sonic fans alleged that Genshin Impact's community was being bribed with Prima Gems. First of all, that is definitely untrue because nobody bribed me. I definitely would be snitching right now if I was offered some Prima Gems, especially right now. Scaramouche came out and Raiden Shogun coming up? Absolutely not. Motherfuckers need to hit me with the Prima Gems immediately. Look, I'll get the IP generator running. We be voting for Genshin Impact all day. I don't care. 
Like, I need those primos. Uh, let's see, as in-game currency that lets players pull for new characters and weapons. The bribery isn't an unfounded accusation considering some players have posted about voting. Really? Hold on, they got a, they got a post here. Some players uh, posted about voting in anticipation of these rewards. Oh, basically saying that like, oh, if, Gen if Genshin wins, Hoyo, me Hoyo will definitely give us some type of reward. They won't. They won't. We gonna get 10 primos talking about, oh, we, you know, whatever. Genshin Impact developer Hoyoverse offered fans 10 free wishes to its players last year after Genshin Impact won best mobile game of the year. Oh. The company hasn't confirmed it will give away any wishes this year, but that hasn't stopped fans from speculating. It doesn't help that that the latest Genshin Impact update starts the stars the long-awaited character Scaramouche. I could see that, but they're not going to announce like Hoyoverse and MiHoYo are not going to announce, "Hey, if we win, we're going to give away free primos." Like they're not going to announce something like that. That's like that's dumb. Like they just would not do something like that. Like they they try to keep these things like low key and very under wraps like it's almost like when you log on the game and you get a surprise like oh sorry for the maintenance issue or whatever and they give away 300 primo and i'm like oh shit like damn i didn't even know there was a maintenance issue like let's see um in the r genshin impact subreddit let's see vote for the free primo gems genshin player genshin player base devaluing all their wins by screaming free primos please is a speed run <laughs> All right, Hoyoverse, we're holding our end of the bargain. Can we please? Can you please uphold yours and we get free primos? Love how players are getting auto bribed by primos into voting like hell. That's crazy. Genshin Impact community voting for Hoyoverse. Genshin community voting to get free primo gems. Free mo gems. Hashtag free mo gems. Oh my god, you boys are crazy, man. I'm now getting messages from Sonic fans telling me to kill myself because. <laughs> because I like Genshin Impact. Uh, I've absolutely had it. Screw you. Hold on, look. This is this guy's tweet. Let me show you guys this tweet. <laughs> this is this guy's tweet. And not only that, these are fake DMs for sure. This guy's not even popular. This is some random guy. Did you think whining to the rest of your pedo friends would do anything? Fuck you and your dumb cash grab game. This is a this is wild. This is absolutely wild. It cannot be this serious, bro. Some of y'all need to go outside, man. <laughs> some some of you boys need to go outside you doing stuff like this you need to go outside man nah you need to dox these people bro you need to dox these people how many followers this guy got ah eh, people are telling me to kill myself yeah people you got 19 followers bruv he's got 19 followers get out of here get out of here hold on let me see does he have a wild tweet somewhere he gotta have a wild tweet he's got hell oh my god hella interactions on this one well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if he's poking the bear. If he's poking the bear, then yeah. Sonic, hashtag Sonic Sweep. Okay, he's got 10 likes on that. Only two hours left to vote for the players awards. Okay, so this is directly, this is the Genshin Impact memes uh, Twitter. So, you know, they're part of it. That makes sense. This guy doesn't even have like drama filled tweets like that. Like at least Genshin didn't cause Chris Chan to become a thing. Wait, what? Hashtag Sonic Sweep, hashtag Genshin. Let's see. I've lost all respect for the Sonic fandom. I made a meme about respecting people's opinions for the Game Awards. Where is that? Hold up. Let me see some. This got 11 likes. This guy's capping, bro. This guy's capping. <laughs> this guy's absolutely capping. I don't see any interactions like that with his account. He's got 19 followers. Like, bro, how many... How much attention do you want to garnish, bro? You garnish more attention from, from lying than... I, I don't believe this guy. I don't believe this guy. I don't see a single tweet. Look, his first tweet, September 8th. He don't got no followers like that. He doesn't have a single tweet or anything. Like, he doesn't have a single meme or anything like that about Genshin Impact. Like, the fact that I can single scroll his entire fucking... Look, single scroll. We're all the way back at the top. We're all the way back at the bottom. Homie's capping for attention. Get out of here. Get out of here. Meanwhile, Sonic fans have made visible effort to harass others, <laughs> other social medias like Twitter and Reddit. Some have resorted to racism against Chinese and called Genshin Impact fans pedos in an attempt to draw votes away from the opposing party, perhaps because there's often a lot of interest in the ages of various characters, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, the lollies, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? 
One fan was caught in the crossfire receiving a flood of insults and even DMs of self-harm because they suggested respecting the other person's opinion. Bro, what? No, stop. This shit is cap. This shit is absolute cap. All you have to do is just like look into this like a little bit. This guy doesn't have a single tweet that's like viral. Doesn't have a single tweet with more than 100 likes on it except for his fake uh, screenshot posts and stuff like that. So he had two people DM and tell him to tell him to go off himself. Like, all right, bro, come on. Sure, 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 sure. I believe that. Yeah. Since the drama peaked, the Sonic the Hedgehog subreddit was forced to remove any discussion from the Game Awards. The Game Awards also started hiding the results so that players can no longer peck at each other over the current leads. We can't even vote now because it's today is the day of voting. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly, yeah. It literally says in the article, this is why we can't have nice things. Now we'll have to wait until December 8th to find out who the players have chosen for the Players Voice Award. Interesting interesting guys what are your thoughts about this what are your thoughts i i think i think both parties need to go outside i think all video games should be shut down for 24 hours honestly uh everybody needs to go outside get some fresh air just breathe in that good ass prana baby like <laughs> infinite waters diving deep type b you know what i'm saying so i don't know man i don't know this seems fake to me seems fake as hell to me but you know, what do you guys think?